众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看本周的完美主义，我是主持人石望林思韵。今天呢，我们来到了洛杉矶的民俗艺术博物馆，来看他们最新的一个展，叫。Materials as metaphor. They, uh, 听说这个展里面的艺术家呢，用各种的布料，充满想象力的比喻成人世间的各种情感和事件，来展示他们想表达的意思。让我们一起来进去看一下这个新展吧。Sasha, how are you doing today? Pretty good, thank you. Good. We're so happy to be here for the newest exhibition. And so, first, can you introduce to us what is Materials as Metaphor exhibition about? Uh, Material as Metaphor is an exhibition that's original to the Craft and Folk Art Museum, and it presents eleven West Coast artists who use fiber as their uh, most exploratory method mm -hmm. of realizing sculpture. And also thinking very much about like what these materials that these artists use, how they come to symbolize certain meanings. Okay, so let's get inside the gallery and actually see the work. Great. This piece is definitely the most colorful. This one, yeah. Yeah, this is an artist named Miyoshi Baroche. She is LA based. Uh, this piece is called Rainbow of Tears, and she used. Um, Found Afghans, which are knitted blankets that um, people would make as kind of gifts to one another, um, and to her, how she described this piece was like it's crying on the inside, but it looks happy on the outside, and this is kind of like her way of showing that we seem to be so caught up in just these outward appearances of happiness, not paying attention to a lot of the destructiveness um, around us and the darkness that exists um, in society. And this is kind of her, her way of communicating that, that there's a despair in the world, but people try to hide it. People are always just like, everything's good, everything's fine. That's pretty inspiring, and and I relate a lot to to the work. 我身后这个呢，就是 Miyoshi Barosh 的第二个作品，在这个展里面呢叫 Flower Bomb。那其实熟悉香水的朋友可能知道 ，Flower Bomb 呢那是 Victor and Rolf 的一个呃香水的名字，很出名的一款香水。那他做的这个呢，就是以这个香水的名字命名的。他当时是说呢，说这个香水呢，就在别人看来都是要表达生活里的这种积极和美好啊，整个花呀、bomb 呀这种感觉。但是呢，他觉得就是。其实这些都是为了在 cover 人内心的那种不开心，就只是这个开心只是一种表面的感觉，所以呢，他才做这个，他觉得是非常讽刺意味的一个作品。So over here, I I think it's really amazing. It looks really different and from anything I've seen before. So this is an artist, also LA based. Her name is Kay Whitney, and she likes to incorporate a lot of humor into her work. So for her, it's really humorous using things such as plywood and industrial felt because she says these are two materials that are made out of something natural. This is made out of wood, this is made out of wool, but it's actually really fake because it's just layered and layered and layered on top of one another to create something that looks natural, but it's kind of been stripped of its naturalness in a way and to be become like this industrial material. So this is all one artist named Christy Matson. She is also LA based. 
She's a weaver. And um, another thing I wanted to say about the artists in this show, many of them um, come from a craft background where they actually come from a background that does involve like um, a real like materiality and like where they're using traditional craft media such as fiber um, and, and weaving is a, is a traditional craft technique. So Christy Mattson I'd say is um, one of the artists who uses craft more so in her work, um, whereas like some others are probably more so sculptors, but they have decided to use fiber as their medium to realize sculpture. So for Christy, she is a weaver and she's using a jacquard loom, which is a computerized uh, weaving machine basically. So she puts her patterns um, into a computer and then the weaving comes out uh, according to that programming. And she also has her own hand, hand I mean, it, it does employ um, um, a handmade. I mean, she's definitely utilizing her hand for making all of these, but it's a really interesting process that goes between like man and machine or woman and machine in a way. So these pieces here, these three, are made by an artist named Mary Little. And Mary is actually a custom furniture maker along with her husband. Um, and she has a lot of experience with sewing and stitching. And you can see with these works, the way these like kind of really interesting folds. Yeah. And they're beautiful, gorgeous. Yeah, like she creates a lot of texture um, just by like sewing things really perfectly. I mean, you could see that she has this really, really impeccable technique. And um, it's really interesting because I think her, the, the custom furniture that she and her husband designed, she kind of um, incorporates a lot of like really interesting sculptural elements into them with just like the fabric. Yeah, so that's her style, just the fabric, but to make it them like sculpture. Exactly, so just, just like um, how I was saying, um, most of the artists here, they're using fiber in some way to create something sculptural, something that is like kind of three-dimensional, not necessarily two-dimensional. And so this is how she's kind of taking these wall works and adding dimension. And it is through like sewing. Uh, so this artist is Victoria May, and she is, she's also a craft-based artist. You know, she really comes from a background of also sewing. She used to be um, a dressmaker. And um, this piece in particular was made while she was driving through Montana on her way to an artist residency. And she was looking at the landscape and she was also seeing like all the trucks passing through with like different like kind of cargo. And this is kind of like her interpretation of like this landscape that she saw. And with, with both like the natural landscape as well as just the kind of um, the human elements and like the, the vehicles that are also like part of this landscape, the kind of human intervention within landscape. And like you can see how many fabric are, are yeah. used. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool piece. It's, it's a bunch of like moving blankets kind of layered and mm. put together into like this really interesting mm. form. So she kind of puts, she likes to put kind of like these, um, these singular elements together to, to see like what kind of like a new shape she can she can get from them. And it really looks like a landscape for me. Yeah, it yeah. does. It's a really cool piece, yeah. especially like when you look at it from far away and then you come up close and you see what the different what, elements yeah, are and exactly. that create the layers. Exactly. Thank you.